Hey everybody, welcome back to Into the Breach. We're going through this with the uh, Zenith group of mechs. They're difficult to work with, but uh, it's it's an interesting approach. So I'm hoping that we can kind of do okay here. Uh, I think we're going to go to Renovation Complex. Ideally, we protect the coal plant and we have the artillery support. So we had to go through some power last time, which is really bad. This needs to last us at least a couple of islands. If I don't feel confident by the end of the second island with this group, then I won't push it. And we'll unlock that fourth island with uh, with another group that hopefully has some uh, easier to maneuver capabilities. So we'll see what happens, but let's keep going. Renovation complex, defend the artillery, protect coal plant. Okay, let's put our zapper like right up front. Rammer up front, flyer. Uh, I guess over here, our battle is pretty much going to be exclusively fought in these tiles. The pull thing isn't going to work that well here, because I can't... One of the ideas that came up was that you could pull the... You could pull people into water. At some point. Um, this is not one of those scenarios. As long as water's on the edge, that's not going to work. We have to be on the opposite side of water, and they have to be one tile away. Because the tough thing is, this doesn't pull us to, like, right to us. It pulls them ahead by one. That's well, kind of tricky, but... Let's see. Okay, so he's backing. Okay. Okay. Now. It looks like, right off the bat, one thing I'm going to have to do. I think we launched the artillery there. I'm likely going to have to shield this thing. Because, unless I get rid of him, which I can do... We could push him back. We could push him back. Or... I could do, like... Hmm. We could do the zap here, killing this one. We do the push back here. We, we are shielded. So our first attack is whatever. But then this guy's kind of doing nothing. So we have a couple of different ways we could approach this. I'm thinking of a way where... Let's say I, I take this shot. That's not going to push him, though. So, yeah, I'm going to take that shot, but he's still occupying that spot. Because the other thing that I was thinking is if we can clear up this tile, then we could bring uh, our charge mech. We could bring our charge mech uh, down here and ram across this way to push this guy out of the way. But I think we're just going to have to shield it. Unfortunately. Um, even if I move him up one, I don't have the movement to get to this slot and go over. Unless he's dead. The cool thing about going here is that we have this. So this guy takes a little bit of damage in the bottom left. We get a kill. And we can shield that thing. And I think that's probably the way to go. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll move this guy forward a bit. We'll do the ram attack here. He dies. We get the shield. Uh, we shield the generator. We come down here. We zap. This guy gets killed. This guy takes one damage. And this is protected. And then this guy just sits here for now. Yeah, I get Like, that'll work. That's what we have to do. For now. The cool thing is, this guy's gonna be trapped, unless he's flying, which could be. No, he's trapped. So we know where he's gonna threaten. We can block a bunch here, actually. Okay. Let's think about this. So if we come here, I can't get to the other side of him. But if I come here, that guy's dead. What's the order of operations? He would shoot first, dealing one damage. We could push back and kill this guy. Um, and then I could bring... Actually, it might be wiser for us to take this kill.
and then take this. We'd still have to tank a shot there. There's, there, I think there's a better way here, actually. There, I think there's a better way. If I... Let's see, how do we make this happen? We could come down here, take this, but it doesn't kill. We could shoot this, but learning my lesson from last time, that's a terrible decision. This guy, let's start with our most limiting, our most limited uh, members. So this guy, all he can do is move here and take this shot. That's li literally all he's going to accomplish, right? So that's pretty much a guarantee. We get rid of that, that um, uh, hornet, okay? We could come down here and we could take this bump, killing him. Then I could... Okay, I'm seeing something come together here. Okay. So we do this. This is a kill. He takes one damage. That's fine. This is a kill on the Hornet. This is a kill here. Uh, then we could even pull uh, Peter over here. And we can grab this guy to pull him back. Does no damage, but blocks this thing. I think that's a good plan. There we go. What did we get? What did we get? Plus three grid defense. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. And then we'll block those two. So far, so good. We're only have one spawn here. Should be easy to take down. Okay, so Trevor here is at max level. Getting the kill with him, probably unnecessary. We could get another kill here. Um, but you know what? I think what I'm going to try... Is taking the one damage here. Come down to this section. Do the pull for the damage, and that gets us that other achievement. Kill an enemy by pulling it into yourself. Then, uh, blocking. Blocking one. Three will spawn. It's kind of messy because we could very easily block a bunch of these. You know? Like, we could block three of them and get the kill. That's probably wiser at this point. We'll have plenty of opportunities where there's one enemy and we'll be able to pull that off. So I think this is probably safer. Our biggest priority is power, so... I think we're just going to chill here. And then we have one enemy to deal with, and the map was still pretty successful because we're going to get the power. Alright. We'll take it. We'll be happy with that. Just because we can. Okay, good. Very good. Starting to get the hang of these guys, but... The self-injury, the self-harm attacks are sketch. Not a huge fan. Okay, grid defense, understood. Oh, they both got grid defense. Okay, so that takes us up to 21. Okay. This guy's not going to get a lot of XP. Not yet, anyway. Even still, look at that. Pfft, shield everything. It's really good. You wouldn't get that till later islands, unfortunately, but... I wonder if I should bring uh, Coral here instead of Peter Perez. Because he's got more XP, so his chance of leveling will be higher. You know? I think that 
is what we're gonna do. Now, we need to do one more here. We could go here, but it's high threat detected, and I don't feel that confident. End battle of less than four mech damage. That's tough, because... We can repair. We can repair. Defend the train. And this one's tough, because if we ram out of the way, then we replace... Uh, no, actually, we could ram... If they're on the t if they're on the track, we could ram, push, or we could pull. I think we do the dam here, though. End battle with less than four mech damage. I think we can repair, though, too. So, yeah, let's give her. Is this armor? Yeah, this is armor. That's great. That's my favorite. Okay. Let's drop him there. I don't know if these guys. We'll drop you in the middle so you can go three either way, and then, uh, and then charge. And I'm gonna put you just a little further away... ...so that you can maybe shield these guys. He's gonna start with the shield. We have the dam we need to destroy. Okay. I see a decent plan here. We take this, they both die. Because he's dealing three here, two here. And then we can also kill this guy, because he'll have two. And that's a pretty good start. We'll have the shield here. And we just go from there, I think. All right. Actually, oh, I should have probably considered blocking with him instead. Yep, should have done that. That's okay. I'm not going to reset because of it, but that's totally what I should have done. Oh, you can shield the dam? Interesting. Okay, he's out of dam range. Yikes. Okay. Now we could do something like this. Pull this guy by one, so he's in the dam. If I go here, I can't quite kill this guy. We do have the ram. We would take the one damage. That's okay, we take one damage there. These guys would each take, so that'd be three. But then we could do repairs. This guy missing this is... fine? Like it's okay-ish? I think we'd be in a much better scenario if we took the dam down. Like if we did- if we were able to get two damage on this... Um, we could still come down here and hit this. We could do the ram for this kill. This takes the one damage. Two of these spawn. But what that lets us do... One, two, three, four. He can get to the other side of the dam. And start pulling people into it. You know? Just not sure I love the... The blocking with him. Because this guy's going to come up and he's going to take fire damage. So maybe what I do is I do this, so we're closer to this guy. I guess we will do this block. Um... You know what we need? We need that upgrade for all the repairs on this group. That would be beautiful. Not much I can do. I could set these tiles on fire. Which will dissuade him from entering. 
And eventually we'll put them out. Let's see. Oh, big boy. Alright. Yes, I know we need to bring down the dam, Steve. Well aware. But this guy, he's flying anyway. So even if I come up here and we take down the dam, we have to do it though. It's an objective that we need to accomplish. Um, this isn't gonna work. I have to remember that we can go into the water though. That's so. When I said in the last one that there were there was this these uh, water tiles in the corner, we could have flown into there and started pulling towards if they were you know sitting there. Could be a thing. You know what I could do? It's not that great, though. I could come up here, pull him in, come up here. Actually, he'd be blocking that. So that won't even work. And these fire tiles that I started are kind of backfiring on me. Could do this, where we take the attack down there. If I don't, if I don't destroy the dam, we're going to have four enemies up that could present a pretty complex problem next time. I could kill him. I could move this guy. Pull him downwards. Then I guarantee you have a kill here next time. And he's going to block a spawn. And I could repair... I could move and block another one and repair this this one. You know, so we kind of are getting some things done. I think we go... We block here. So we go up one there. Last turn, we have to destroy the dam. And then just mitigate damage somehow. Alright. So he's attacking here, which is easy enough for us to just move. Um, do the ramming, that kills him. But then I'm kind of stuck there. Okay, let's think about this. If I... We have to end with less than four mech damage. So if I do this, we have four mech damage. So, a couple of things we could try doing. We could bring this mech back here. Shield. Attack. So he's dead. We don't take mech damage. But then we have a potential power loss. This guy's irrelevant. And this has to, has to block this. The other option that I like 
is like this thing. We pull him in. This guy's shot goes over, does nothing. This guy's shot hits him, he dies. But then I've got this dude sitting here and I can't do anything about it. I don't want to give up more power and we have to destroy the dam. So I'm trying to figure out a way that we can get it with both objectives. That's the key here, right? If I do this... That's still tanking uh, a mech damage. Kills this, he's sitting in the water. Hold on. What if I went like this? Okay, so he would pull him in. But his attack is irrelevant. There's no point wasting time on him. You know? And then I have to take down this dam. And then to kill this guy, we have to take more damage. So I don't... I'm not seeing a way that we can do it. So we shield here, attack, he doesn't take damage, that negates this. I make this fall. Actually, hold on. If I make that fall first, does that open up any options for us? Not really. Um... I'm trying to work out a way in which this works for us. But any attack with him that's not shielded means we're going to lose the mech damage. Because I have to kill this. So if I shield, take this out. This attack's still going to kill down at the end there. Unless we block. One in five. Like, it can happen. We've seen a lot of blocks. It happens. Uh, I think we gotta give up one of these. We either don't destroy the dam, or we end with less damage. But in order to get all these kills, we need the, uh, the damage. Well, not even, really. Because what I could do... Can't do this, because then we lose the power as well. This is actually pretty tough. What if I pull him? So I... Hold on. Uh, yeah, but then I still can't get both. Frick. Because then this thing still gets hit. Because if I pull him out of the way... Like, that's great. This guy will die. This hit misses. That's all fine. Um... But with you, I still have to take the extra damage. And here... So it's one or the other. I, I, I could move down. Or I can move up here. But I still can't kill this guy from here. And these guys will be blocking. So I, I don't think it can be done. I don't think it can be done. I think we just destroy the dam. And then... Ram this guy. Now wait, am I even going to be able to make this miss? Might have to tank- I might have to tank a damage here. I might have to do this. Destroy the dam. Uh... Actually, no, I won't need to. So we pull this guy over, he's gonna kill his buddy. We go up here, we ram this guy, he dies. The buildings are safe. We don't get one star, but the dam is killed. Yeah. 
that's too bad. We could have maybe said, oh, a star for power, but we're already behind on power, so... Yeah. We will get some XP from this kill, which is nice. And we saved all our power. So not so bad. Not so bad, actually. Could be worse. That's a that's a tough one to get with this group because there's there's power that or there's damage you have to take to do some attacks. So we gotta destroy the corporate le the scorpion leader. <laughs> destroy destroy the corporate leader and protect the scorpion tower. Nice. Man, that's gonna be tough. Look at this positioning too. Oh wow, that's gonna be hard, man. Okay, I am gonna wrap up here, but uh, we'll give this one a solid effort when we come back. This group's difficult to work with, but I'm assuming once we get some upgrades, after we pass an island, we can get some cores and maybe some different weaponry. That'll open up a lot of possibilities, so I'm, I'm optimistic. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Okay, thanks. Bye.